This is how you will create the perfect button. Create a rectangle with the dimensions I created and round its corners. Notice that the rectangle has no stroke and has a fill in exactly the colors I chose. Create another rectangle according to the following settings and move it to the back of the layers window. This time, cancel the fill and add a stroke with the thickness and color in this video. Select the green rectangle and open the blending options window. Add an inner shadow and a drop shadow, exactly according to the settings in the video. You can always pause or watch the video again to adjust the settings precisely. Select the orange frame and open the blending options window again. Add bevel and emboss to the frame along with contour, stroke and three different styles of inner shadow exactly like I did. Nice! Now, group the two layers you created into a group and open the blending options window for the group as well. Add an inner shadow and two drop shadow styles according to the settings in the video. Looks great! Now add text. Also for the text, open the blending options window and add a stroke, gradient overlay and two drop shadow styles. I highly recommend following the color choices I made, but of course you are welcome to create your button however you want. The last thing left to do is add lighting to the top of the gold frame we created. Create another rectangle and fill it with white. Change its blending mode to overlay and its opacity to 30%. Also, add a feather to soften the lighting. And that's it! 